Today's Swift Zwift tip. Four things to try if you can't detect your Bluetooth devices. First up, the pairing of your devices isn't through any of the system settings, it's via the app itself. This is a much easier process. Secondly, check the batteries of all your peripherals, make sure they're not dead. Typically these use a CR2032 batteries, but on the back will tell you exactly what battery your device uses. Thirdly, make sure the device is awake. These things will go into sleep mode pretty quickly and they need to be active to be broadcasting on Bluetooth. So a bit of a spin of the cranks, a return of the wheel, or plugging your heart rate monitor strap on, it should be good to go. And my fourth tip and the most common reason why people can't find their Bluetooth devices is because it's already connected to something else. Bluetooth only allows one-to-one -one connectivity. Once that connection is established, nothing else can see it. It will disappear from the air. What's usually happening is some other program or other app has that connection open to the device and nothing else can see it. That's why turning everything off, turning it back on again, typically works. That connection will be broken, then you can connect with Zwift or the program that you need, and happy days, it's good to go. You can also shortcut that by turning Bluetooth off in the settings and turning Bluetooth back on, and it may then pair, but just watch for that. But if all else fails, shut it all down, start again, and so here you go. There we go, today's Swift Zwift tip. Now you can find your Bluetooth devices every time. Thank <laughs> you.